And after sports, it's time now to take a look at the top stories uh, published in the newspapers from the national capital. Well, although all stories have highlighted the Supreme Court's uh, decision regarding, uh, you know, the command role for women, we've selected this story on the front page of the Tribune, which talks about how the forces will get their first theater command by 2022, says uh, the Chief of Defense Staff, uh, Bipin Rawat. And uh, it says here that uh, it could be something that could act actually alter the structure of the armed forces uh, and uh, of the Indian armed forces and uh, well a theater command will provide all assets uh, for war under a single commander says this report and and there can be as many as uh, five theater commands along the western and northern land borders says Bipin Rawat and uh, well the box item also gives more details uh, bullet points about this story. Right, absolutely. Let's now move on to Hindustan Times and this is the story that we have uh, picked up from here. Intel pinpoints Jaish Muhammad Chief Masood Azhar to Bahawalpur headquarters. The Indian counter-terror agencies have confirmed information that Maulana Masood Azhar, Chief of uh, Jaish Muhammad and the man on top of India's most wanted list is living under higher security in a virtually bomb-proof house. Uh, behind the terror group's Bahawalpur headquarters in Pakistan. And this information becomes more relevant in light of the recent reports that Pakistan may tell the FATF uh, plenary meeting that began on Sunday in Paris that Masood Azhar is missing. While Pakistan has sentenced Jamaatu Dawa Chief Afi Saeed and his aide to five and a half years in prison for terror funding just a week before the crucial plenary meeting, it is criticized for not taking enough action against the Mumbai 2000 attack uh, mastermind Zakir Man Lakwi and Masood Azhar. And here's a feel-good story about a school in Bihar that loans that gives loans for haircuts, shampoo, and shampoo pencils and erasers. And this is a school that has been doing so for the past uh, four months now. It's in Gopal Ganj district, and the loans it gives out are from uh, one rupee to around two hundred rupees. And you know, students can you know buy whatever they want. Uh, uh, of course, uh, their needs would not. Def definitely amount to more than 200 <coughs> rupees and uh, teachers say that many children enrolled in this school have been had been skipping class for want of money to buy the basic materials or even to take a proper bath but this problem has been sorted out by the school of course uh, the the report gives us more details about how the loan is to be paid back and so on Right, and towards the end, uh, here's a story that we have picked up uh, from the Asian Age, and this is uh, regarding the coronavirus, and uh, this talks about how corona very China may ax the House session. In an unprecedented move, China is considering to postpone its annual parliament session next month, during which the ruling Communist Party showcases its political clout as the country grapples with the coronavirus outbreak that has claimed over 1,700 lives. And in fact, this is also talking about how the standing committee of the NPC will meet in late February to deliberate a draft decision uh, on the postponing of the NPC's annual session, among other items on the agenda. And as we told you earlier in the show that uh, nearly 200 of the 400 people housed at an 